So my name is Dr. Jasjit Singh. I work at the University of Leeds on religious and cultural transmission in South Asian religious traditions with a particular focus on British Sikhs. I've just uh, finished a project on Sikh radicalisation in Britain which I developed as a consequence of Indian media reports in the lead up to the November 2015 visit of Prime Minister Narendra Modi to the UK. In this project I investigate the idea, context, framing and reality of Sikh radicalisation in Britain. I found that Sikh activism is in Britain fundamentally changed following the storming of the Golden Temple during, the, during Operation Blue Star in June 1984 and the anti-Sikh violence that took place in India in November 1984 following the assassination of the Indian Prime Minister by her Sikh bodyguards. From a community who supported India and who focused on campaigning for the right to maintain Sikh symbols in Britain, the anger about 1984 led many Sikhs in Britain to protest about the lack of recourse about these incidents. I found that there's no real threat to the British state or to the wider British public from Sikh activism as there's no argument with the West or with Britain as a whole. Many Sikhs participate in campaigns without necessarily formally affiliating to Sikh organisations. Most incidents that have taken place have been Sikh on Sikh issues and these instances of Sikh on Sikh violence are most often a consequence of the contested nature of religious authority within the Sikh tradition and or local power politics most often as a consequence of personal and familial disputes. Sikh activism in Britain is usually focused around campaigns targeting specific issues. These campaigns emerge organically and are most often organised through local networks. Issues are now most often raised and circulated through Sikh broadcast media and social media. So to keep up to date with the project, you can follow me on Twitter at Dr Jasjit Singh and read about it on the Crest website at crestresearch.ac.uk.